tonight in style. We're at the Experience Music Project in Seattle, and fans and developers from Bungie are waiting for a great time, some great company, and one great game. Frank O'Connor. Frank, thanks for sitting down with me. I appreciate see it. You. Um, now, you work for 343 Industries now. I do. Explain what that has to do with Bungie and what that has to do with Microsoft. So we're, we're obviously part of Microsoft. Um, it's kind of a continuation of the group that was publishing the Halo games before. And we're in charge of, as I said, publishing the Bungie Halo games and uh, steering the franchise generally. Things like the Marvel series of comic books, we have a series of New York Times best-selling novels through Tor, and you know, The Fall of Reach was published under that agreement. And we're just making sure that we're stewarding the franchise in the right directions, and of course, uh, working with directly with Bungie to do that. And now when I'm hearing your name, Frank O'Connor, I'm hearing Waypoint. Yes. What is Waypoint? Waypoint is going to be a Halo experience that you experience through your Xbox 360 on Xbox Live. You'll go to your dashboard, you'll see Waypoint there, launch it, and it's, it's all sorts of things. It's a community portal. It is a place where you can go get a deeper look at the Halo fiction and the canon. For example, you can go take a look at the UNSC Pelican or the police variant of the Pelican that's featured in ODST in detail with diagrams and explanations. Or you can go and watch video content, podcasts, uh, all sorts of things. It's a complete soup to nuts Halo experience. About the game. So far, I absolutely love it. It's right now on. It's pretty challenging, but it's still a lot of fun. Not frustrating. It's very polished and smooth. I like it. I really like the firefight mode. I know I'm going to be playing this all week. I'm just looking forward to getting into some games and hopefully not getting squashed by uh, seven-year-olds. So I'm talking to Joseph Staten, who is the writer and creative director of Halo 3 ODST. First off, congratulations on the launch. Thanks very much. And so, what is the meta story in Halo 3? Well, yeah, in Halo games, you often just see the war part of the story, sort of one giant industrial complex smashing against another giant industrial complex that happens to be alien. So you just see the war. You never really get the civilian side of the story. Our hope with the meta story, Sadie's story, was to tell the civilian side of the conflict. Now, a lot of the developers in ODST say that was their favorite game to develop, and you sort of, you know, been on the team. Why are they saying that about ODST compared to the other Halo games? Well, I think, you know, I've been working on Halo games for a little more than 10 years. A lot of the core people on the team have been working on you know, all the games as long as I have. And with every Halo game that starred the Master Chief, I think we just felt in some ways we were telling a very similar story. Um, the Master Chief was going up against the same big galactic space opera scale problems. And we often lost the human side of the conflict. And for us, ODST was a way to go back to the roots of the story, just in terms of the characters, but also for the gameplay, really distill it down to you know, the essential things that made Halo what it is. Halo 3 ODST is available now. The party was great, but now it's over. It's time to get in on the orbital drop shock action. Thanks for watching Inside Xbox. I'm Tina Wood.